Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and this is the continued series of the Battle Forces for December 2021, getting into 2022 now. Uh, but this is the Admech Battle Force, the one that came out later than all the others for some people, including myself. So here it is, ready to go. We'll look at all the models up close. We'll look at all the various... Um, bits that you have since most every single model has model has uh, multiple options for which you can assemble it with and we can and we'll uh, discuss what kind of difficulties you might uh, discover when you yourself are putting it together <laughs> We have a five-man group of Taraxi, three-man group of Raiders, five-man group of Sakarans, an Iron Strider, um, the Tech Priest Manipulus, and a ten-man group of uh, Vanguard. Every single one of these could be something else. Well, the Manipulus only has a tiny little um, option, but everything else has a completely different option that you could choose. This kit comes with a lot of extra bits. But first, uh, let's just have a look at this guy first. So here is the big bellied tech priest manipulus. You can easily tell him from a distance because of his enormous belly with the uh, megadendrites coming off of it. His only extra pieces are a alternative hood, which is more long than this one I chose and the alternative weapon option. And if you want to magnetize it, that would be very straightforward. I think this guy looks a bit Death Guardy for me, but he is great for melee units. So there's that. All right, and then we have our regular old Vanguard. Of course, you can turn them into rangers instead as you would find on the regular old box of um, Skatari when you go into a store and look for it it'll look they won't look like these they'll look um, more like uh, these guys with the hoods rangers is what they would look like the, the raiders the Cerberus raiders are basically rangers on horses and the Cerberus sulfur hounds are vanguard on dogs and even the dragoon the iron strider is this one is a dragoon um you know it's a dragoon mostly because his rider well the big lance is the giveaway um if you don't have the big lance and you're just having a glance the dragoon is the one who's wielding a vanguard on top while the long range one is the Bellistari. so the the fellow down below no matter the variant that you give him, it's just his weapons really that changes. Um, there's a couple extra bits that you can apply right here. I just put one here so that it just seemed, if I put too many here, his lance, when he, you know, if he were to bring it down, his lance would just knock against the sights. So there's some extra pieces, a little bit of extra tech that I did not add to it. Uh, this guy was actually quite straightforward to put together. Everything went together well. I think the only difficult part really was um, attaching the servitor's legs to the iron strider's legs. They attach at three little points and you have to orient the servitor's legs as you're gluing it so that it fits into those iron strider legs because iron strider legs only have one position while the servitor's legs you can orient pretty easily. I'm really tempted to just put big boogly eyes um, looking out. I'm not. I'm probably not going to do it, but I really want to do it. All of the Admech are finicky little pieces, but they work. They actually go together really well. This this might break off eventually. This thing right here, it might break off. If it does, um, see if you can get extra bits, I suppose. Uh, but I would suggest cutting it off right down here. And then reapplying. Uh, this is just too small. It's a, it'd be a nuisance to attach it anywhere along here. Just cut off right there and re and re glue a new piece or a replacement piece 
right there if that so happens or take really good care of them and you don't have to worry about it um yeah so there are a lot of different weapon options for these guys since you have both um all of the weapon options available for the vanguards and all of the weapon options available for the rangers so that is mostly the same besides their their main weapon um and you get the you get the base um for if you have their really long weapon whose name escapes me at the moment these are good oh there it is okay there's that long weapon which goes on the longer base um and as you can see it's it's, it's um, it's taller than as as taller than this Katari who's going to be wielding it. It's a long weapon. It's a great weapon. I I have plenty of them already assembled this way. That's why I don't have them assembled right now. I just have them in their with their radium carbines. Even the Alpha is just wielding the radium carbine. Cheap, quick, nothing special. I'm an Admech player. I have as many of these guys as I need already because you can only use so many in um in a squad so it makes it and you've got all the special weapon guys figured out before you assemble any of the regular guys and as i said you have all the extra heads uh how many there there are yeah there are 10 there uh and there's a head if you didn't want to turn them into an alpha for some reason if you wanted like a double size unit which i don't I don't, don't don't actually suggest the bigger units just because you can put more special weapons and alphas into smaller units. So I'd go for smaller units rather than bigger. There's the alphas, as you can see. You can tell from their helms, but they're not wielding anything special. Um, the only thing irritating I find about these guys anything that has a cloak. The cloaks are very awkwardly joined together, so you're going to want to use some plastic glue and perhaps some more than that um, to make certain that the mold lines disappear, otherwise you'll have a cloak with a really awkward mold line. If you don't care about that, well, then you don't have to worry about it. If you do care about it, then I am putting out a video so that you can get rid of these mold lines once this actually is primed these lines will disappear and i'm going to put out a video on how to do that easily have it done within a few minutes really not including drying time so these guys have multiple options they can either be the infiltrators or the rust stalkers i chose the half moon heads which are the infiltrators and i just went with their regular power sword and gun they have other options only for the infiltrators just like the rust stalkers have options that are only for the rust stalkers so you just want to make certain that you're putting on the correct weapons for the correct unit but if you follow the assembly guide it will be going easy for you there are fiddly bits that you want to be careful with these aren't exactly difficult to put together but they are a bit fragile so when you remember when you're taking something fragile off the sprue just make certain to put your finger underneath the sprue as you're cutting it off to absorb the force um, from the cutting and make certain you cut the most fragile part of a piece from the sprue before you cut its more strong parts um, if you cut the more strong parts first while the fragile piece is still connected to the sprue you are more likely to break it that's all. all right these guys i have already done a video just on them though in the video i have them as sulfur hounds i even have a video on how i painted them in basically mars but my own uh, stygies 8 color scheme uh not a complicated color scheme these guys are separate so you can paint them separately um the dog head just comes separately you could quite possibly magnetize the head and change them out. No, I think I just get, um, I just get multiple kits. I wouldn't really bother magnetizing them, but it can be done if you so wish to. All 
All right, these are the Terexi. I have assembled them as sterilizers. So those are the ones that jump in on combat and burn everyone with flamers. These guys are fragile, as is most every Admech. There's always little bits, kind of like Tau. There's always little bits that if you drop it, you might never see that bit again. So be careful. Also be careful when using um, any foam trays. That's the same kind of problem. You might want uh, to not use trays, particularly for something like this. Because if you use foam trays one day, it's going to happen. You're going to catch these very fragile pieces on the foam as you're taking it out. And it will snap off. So I'd go for more fitting ones. As in you choose the exact size of uh, the trays that you want and lay them in gently. Maybe put a little bit of tissue on top. Anything that you can just pull off and it won't snag on your delicate, delicate pieces. These are the bits of the Cerberus Raiders. As you can see, there are, you only need three heads, but there are more heads than you need for your Raiders. I mean, they are unique to the Cerberus self rounds for design, like these little things up front. They're a bit different uh, than the regular guys, but if you want to make some special characters. There are some nice extra little little packs. So many extra bits in this. I'm not exactly certain what you would do with all of these weapons. Uh, these are from those guys. The Sikarans. Little extra packs. See the little extra packs? Make certain everyone is a bit different. Extra head from the looks of it. Ah, yes, if you uh, weren't going to do with an alpha, they've got an extra head, so you can just make um, regular guys. All the extra packs. Little hands. There's the rest of these hands, which are really cool looking. Four bits. Uh, oh, extra head. Who do we have here? Oh, right, the extra heads here for the Iron Strider and its extra weapons. There are a couple issues with this assembly guide with the numbers being a bit off, so make certain you're paying attention to what your piece looks like versus what the number says. Um, you can magnetize it. I have done so. Uh, I've done so for the long range Bellastari version, not the Dragoon. Um, the Dragoon is a bit iffy in that there are two handlebars, but each one has a hand on it. So if you wanted to give him a lance plus a Phosphor Serpenta, that's a bit more difficult to do. I don't know why they would do that. That seems a bit strange, but they did. Um, the Tarorax, he has a bunch of bit, extra bits. Um, the different head options that you could have chosen, the different gun options that you could have chosen, these little little bombs. Not a lot that you can use outside of this kit, really. But a couple extra things. Extra heads of some kind. You could possibly make servitors out of them. And that is it. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, particularly subscribe if you would like to learn the quick and easy way to get rid of mold lines and joins just like that um, in the video as soon as I am able to put it out, which won't be too long from now. And uh, I will catch you in the next video. Bye. I don't know why I'm not creeped out, but I'm, if the dendrites are coming out of the back of the body, I'm completely fine. But there's something about dendrites coming out of the belly that's really creepy.